I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to gain root access to the entire Pixel 7 series of smartphones. This process does require a PC, since we need to flash a modified boot image file using a simple fastboot command. But before we can begin, there are a number of things we have to have set up ahead of time. For example, we cannot complete this Pixel 7 root tutorial until we have successfully unlocked the bootloader. Now, I have covered this process in a separate video, so if you're not familiar with how to unlock the bootloader of the Pixel 7, check the video description below and you'll find a link to that dedicated tutorial. As I said, we need a PC to complete this process and our computer needs to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on it so that we can execute that Fastboot command. If you're not familiar with how to get these tools on your computer, again, check the video description and you'll find a link to a program that will install it for you. We also need to sideload the Magisk APK file which should be downloaded directly from the developer's GitHub page. This will also be linked down below. And if you're unfamiliar with how to sideload an APK file on Android, I can help you complete that part of the tutorial as well. Lastly, we need to download the firmware from Google's Factory Images website that matches the same build, which is the same version that you're currently running on your Google Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro device. So here we have the firmware file that I downloaded from Google earlier this morning. This file needs to be extracted, which I have already done using a program called 7-Zip. That will give us a set of files right here, which also includes another compressed file, which needs to be extracted as well. So we need to extract the contents of this file as well, which gives us these files. Now in older root tutorials, we would be grabbing the regular boot image file but on the Google Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro, things are done a little bit different. So instead, we're going to be grabbing the init underscore boot dot image file. We're going to take this file, we're going to copy it from our PC onto our Google Pixel 7 device. Once we have that init boot image file on our Pixel 7, we're going to open up Magisk. We're going to tap on the install button that's within this top section of the Magisk application. And then we're going to select the select and patch a file option. That's going to bring us to a file picker, which we can then use to navigate to where we put that INIT boot image. And we're going to select that option. Now we're going to tap the Let's Go button right there. And we're going to wait for Magisk to patch this file properly. You can see exactly what's going on here. And you're going to see that we are outputting a file within the same folder that we had the original file in. But the file name is going to be Magisk underscore patched and then some numbers and letters. We need to then copy this file back to our PC so that we can flash it via Fastboot. Now that we have copied that patched Magisk file from our device and back to our PC, we now need to boot this device into Fastboot mode. Now I've shown you how to do this in a previous tutorial, but it is simple since we only need to hold the volume down button while the device is booting back up. If you're having trouble booting into fastboot mode, 
Again, check the video description below and you'll find a link to a dedicated tutorial that I have done on the subject. Once the device is in fastboot mode, we're going to then connect it to the PC with a USB cable. You're then going to need to open up either a Windows PowerShell, a command prompt, or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools, as well as the same folder as our patched Majisk file. And we're going to need to type out the command fastboot space flash space init underscore boot followed by a space and then we need to type out that output file name. That's going to begin with the word Majisk. So you should be able to just type out Majisk and then press tab to auto complete that file name. And you should see that that file has been sent to the INIT underscore boot partition. This could either be INIT boot A or INIT boot B. It all just depends on what your active partition is. And after the file has been sent, it should write this patched Magisk file to that partition. As long as everything went successfully, you should get a finished and total time message right here without any errors at all. After the file has been flashed to the Pixel 7 series, we can go ahead and start the phone back up like normal. So make sure the start option is highlighted here and then press the power button to select it. Now we should see Android booting up like normal. It should not take an extended period of time since we have not done a factory data reset. You should see the warning message right here because our bootloader is unlocked. And then that should boot us over into the Google Pixel boot animation sequence. and then takes us right into Android. So after that has been done, we can then go ahead and open up the Magisk application to check and make sure if the app needs to install any additional files. We did not get a prompt here, so that does not look to be necessary right now. We can look at the top and see that Magisk version 25.2 is marked as installed. And if you want, we can double check that by opening up the Google Play Store, installing a root checker application. And then verifying that we now have root access thanks to Magisk. And now that we have verified that everything went according to plan, that wraps up the newer process of how we can root the Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro smartphones using Magisk.